thanks to EA for making this video possible. Hey guys, my name is Angelia. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're not, welcome back. We are here with the Zodiac Legacy Challenge. It has been quite a while, honestly, since I have recorded and I am so excited. So we are finally starting the Aries generation with Miss Adara and I am so stoked right now. I am also recording really late at night. My husband's schedule has gotten flip-flopped and he's now working overnight shifts. So I, I try to put on some makeup. I am tired. It's almost 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> so please bear with me if it's a little crazy, but you won't have to worry about hearing trucks outside. So that's a, that's a plus, right? I think so. So first things first, we do actually need to move Adara out. I did make a little apartment for her in the new world. I also want to make copies of these. I wonder, did she just do, I've literally never done this before. Oh, okay. She just does it that way. That's fine. I'm going to create copies so she can have all these photos as well, just to have in her place because I want them. And especially since she's the heir, we definitely need to have those. So I'm trying to also figure out what we're going to do money-wise. Like, I'm not sure if I want them to give her a sum of money, just give her enough for the down payment, a cent, well, enough for the house rather, and then maybe a little bit extra so she can, you know, live. Because <laughs> they're, they're decently well off. They can definitely afford the house and, well, the house. It's an apartment, but hmm, man, this is gonna be so weird moving her out, but we should probably get to it. Here we are in her new apartment. Apparently the apartments here you just pay for outright. I think it's just the building, you're not actually paying rent, but this is the build I made. If you guys watched my speed build on it, this is what it looks like. I haven't changed anything of it. Obviously, again, I wanted to keep it pretty simple and bare bones because she can buy stuff in the future. But for right now, this is what we are working with here. I am very excited. She's living on her own. I'm also really sad. Like, I'm a lot sadder than I thought I would be of her living by herself, but we got to start up the Aries generation. So here we are. I'm going to try to pop these right here. Nope, I can't. So change of plans. We're moving them into her bedroom <laughs> just for right now. And then we will get a hang of it later. I'll, I'll figure out something. Obviously, she's not going to live in this apartment forever. So it's no big deal to have them there for right now. But it, they kind of look cute just over the curtains. I don't know. I kind of like that. I also brought over quite a few of Cadence's paintings because, you know, I feel like she would want stuff from home. And this just makes sense to me. We're going to put the kitty over here. Mm. I forget that this room isn't completely centered and it drives me a little bit bonkers, but we have art now. We are classy freaking people. We got art from our mom. I also have this painting. I don't know where I can put it because it's not letting me. I elected to put this into her bedroom as well, just because why not? Oh, we still have our little friendship bracelet from our mom too. That's, that's really cute. She actually really needs to use the bathroom. So let's go ahead and have her do that because that'd probably be a good idea. So I was just double checking the rules. So for her career, she actually needs to be in the secret agent career, which I've never actually done, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. It's gonna be interesting. Oh my gosh, she is still angry. She's mad about the photo too. A girl, you need to calm down. I don't know why you're so angry. All right, so she's gonna be either a diamond agent or a villain. I'll probably do diamond agent. I don't really want her to be a villain, but I guess this is what we are doing. <laughs> Gonna, it's interesting. We have to reach level two logic skill. Oh, I don't even have a chess table. Well, that's awkward. I guess I'm gonna have to buy it, aren't I? <laughs> okay, I put the chess table right here because why not? I don't have really that much space in here. We're already outgrowing it. And we haven't even been here a full day. I also want to obviously check into Cupid's Corner. I want to do all of that fun stuff because you know what? She's a young adult now. I do want to go ahead and check out Cupid's Corner and see what we can get up to. I also installed a mod. Oh, I don't want her wearing her coat. That's weird. I'm going to have her change into one of the new outfits. I did give her some of the outfits from Lovestruck like this dress, which is beautiful. I freaking love it. So let's go ahead and open up Cupid's Corner. I'm so excited to like fully get to explore it now that we're in a different... Oh, look at her looking all sultry. I don't hate this picture. Oh, maybe not hothead. Let's let's maybe not advertise that we're on. I, I'm a top-notch infant, guys. <laughs> 
let's maybe do ambitious. I feel like ambitious and perfectionist are probably a good thing. So let's go ahead and look at our matches here. So I actually installed a mod, which I was trying to say earlier, that we don't have the refresh waiting time. I can just constantly refresh it if I want to, which is super nice. Oh, not Johnny Zest. Whoa, that's a mullet. That's... That's not what we're going for. Moral. Interesting. I'm honestly, I'm looking for the one that I created for her. <laughs> I'm hope. What is it with Santa popping up and like jump scaring us in this? Why do we keep getting Santa? Wait. Oh, this guy. He has like a lot of things that she likes. Okay. Sergio popped up. Look at his picture. I love it. Oh. She likes the costumes. I mean, you know what? We can hang out with her. There's nothing saying we can't, right? Deontay, Lavina. It took me like probably 20 or 30 refreshes of the matches, but finally the guy I created popped up. He's looking very cute within this little box of treats. So I did base him off of Nick Burkhart from Grimm. <laughs> As I told you guys, I was probably going to do it. Listen, I'm obsessed and I still can't get enough if I still need to finish that house. But I did save a bunch of other ones as well because I thought it'd be fun for her to get to know other people and all of that. I think she's only allowed a certain amount of friends. Okay, actually she was allowed to have as many friends as she wanted after she's a young adult, which she's already a young adult. So we are good to go. I kind of just want to add everyone to my contacts, get to know some people. It's always good to have friends. Wait, I can't add anyone else to my contacts. Contact the maximum number of sims today. Okay. Also, I thought she was really cute. So I added her. I love her. I don't even know her, but I love her. So we are going... Oh, we actually do know quite a few people. Obviously, Rohan is now still a teen and she's an adult. So that's going to be completely forgotten. But look how beautiful she freaking looks in this. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just so excited. We added Travis Scott to the list because... Why not, honestly? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I guess we added Walter as well. Was Grace one of our picks? I don't even remember. Okay, Grace was one of our picks. Hmm, who do we want to talk to first? Let they actually have like a little magnet thing? What does that mean? What does that little magnet thing mean? Oh, Adara is very attracted to him. Okay, well, let's maybe try a date. Oh, we can send a flirty selfie? That's a thing you can do now? Okay, that's exciting. Oh my gosh, you guys, you get to take it? Okay, I might have to rescind my comment about this pack not- oh my gosh, not being super fun. I'm- listen, I'm having fun with the pack itself, okay? I just think more stuff could have been added. Ooh, that made my game lag for whatever reason. <laughs> but I like that you can actually see- oh, she's gonna go- I mean, I'm gonna let her do it because we need to get that up anyway. <laughs> also, look how cute she looks in the new little bun. I'm obsessed with the hair from the new pack, I'll be honest. She is definitely obsessed with working out, which is probably gonna be a good thing considering that we need to do it for the Aries gen. But she is inviting Walter over to hang out. Hopefully he will accept. He will. Hooray. Was that like a little bit? Oh yeah, this is kind of broken right there. Or I think it's just the line selecting it. I don't know. That was weird. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to ignore that for right now. Go run with your chest out until he gets here. I'm assuming he'll be utilizing this, but I don't see him yet. So that's... Oh, there he is. <gasps> My elevator works. <laughs> I was so paranoid that it wouldn't work. I haven't built a lot in a really long time, so that's good. I don't know what he's wearing, but we're gonna... Wait, can I not chat with him? Oh, okay. That's so weird. Let's just do friendly... Why can't I interact? So I can't interact with this guy at all, but I can interact with... Yeah, I don't care about prank day. I, but I can interact with normal people. This is very weird. I don't quite understand. Like, look, I can chat normally with them, but not with this guy. I am very confused. I'm going to reset him maybe and see what happens. He's just gone. Or is this him over here? It is. Yeah, I can't interact with him. That is the weirdest thing <laughs> I think I've ever seen. At a glance, Adara is a natural attraction to... What? <laughs> you barely even know this person. Girl. Yeah, I don't know why she can't really talk to him. That's so odd. I have no idea what's happening, but that's fine. I guess it's just not meant to be. We'll do a friendly intro. We can just go chit chat with some people. Again, I do need her. Oh, dislikes Boho. That would not get along with me because Boho is one of my favorites. My husband is not particularly game with that, but listen, I like it. Maybe I can un... Let's remove from group and see does that fix it is it the grouping nope <laughs> i have no idea what's happening or why she can't 
talk with him. I'm going to ask him to create a date and see if that will maybe help a little. Who knows if it'll actually work? Okay, so I can start an event. So we're gonna do a get to know you date. Also, I did move my camera, as you can see, so we can actually see it. So I guess let's... That was a disaster. <laughs> Let's do food, board games maybe, because we do have stuff at our house that we could do. So let's do socialize and be friendly. We're not going to get too crazy. We just want, you know, something fun. Yeah, let's do it here. Okay, so can I talk to him now? Now I can talk to him. That is so weird. Let's share some personal details. Again, I know I should be focusing like on her career and stuff, but the pack just came out and she's an Aries. So I feel like she's going to be pretty a little bit more outgoing and she's going to really want to get to know people and have friends and you know just really hang out in the whole city life right now intelligence research that's pretty cool adara clued walter in on some personal data personal details rather about her life walter's learned the following adara's career and adara's financial status i'm now realizing you guys can't see those pop-ups either okay i moved my camera again so <laughs> hopefully it's in a little bit better of a spot and you guys can actually see everything now but anyways, let's go ahead and let's not mock his facial. Let's discuss fitness techniques, share personality quirks. Let's really get to know this dude right here. Bold pickup line. Okay, we can do that. There's nothing wrong with her having maybe like a little flirt mance here and there before we actually find someone to settle down with. Obviously, it's going to be the Nick Burkhart guy I made because I'm obsessed. And he looks pretty darn good in my humble opinion. Oh my, is this Panya? It is. <laughs> Just haunting us. Rory is here. Adara shared some of her personality quirks with Walter. Walter is now aware of Adara's personality traits. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. They do need to eat something together. We're going to order pita and hummus, which that's how we pronounce it in my family. I'm Lebanese and we've always said hummus instead of hummus. So... I don't know. I just say it how my family says it, so don't judge me. Oh, he's. I think he's liking it. Also, why is she out on a date in her athletic wear? Girl, that's not the outfit to wear. Change into this because it's freaking cute. Oh my gosh, I thought my screen blocked out and it was the freaking bar back right there. Anyway, there we go. Let's go ahead and grab a serving together so they can actually chit chat and eat together. Okay, so I'm back to not being able to talk to him. This is so freaking weird. I don't understand. It was going well before, but I, I, I genuinely don't understand. I don't know if it's a bug or what is happening. I have signs. Absolutely not. Yeah, I still can't chit chat with this dude. I'm just going to, I guess, go ahead and end the date. Unsuccessful. It just, it makes no sense why I can't talk with him. So I'm going to send her back home. I was, okay, so I guess she decided to come downstairs and talk to Knox. <laughs> I don't know why. Again, I am very confused as to why she can't chit chat with Walter. It makes no sense. Because again, she can talk normally with everyone else, but I wonder if there's like a glitch with the app or something. I don't know. All my mods are up to date. I double checked. I only have like three of them installed right now, even because I didn't want to chance anything getting messed up, which is obviously kind of impacting me doing Ever After right now because I've been using um, Wicked Whims to do poses and I didn't want to test that theory just yet. <laughs> and I didn't want to seek validation on being a catch. Oh, oh. Okay, I guess we're going back upstairs now. <laughs> oh, she is super tired. Oh, girl, you need a shower. You need to, let's go take a shower first. Here, go take a speedy shower, okay? And then you can go to bed because, listen, it's way better to be clean when you go to sleep because that's nasty. So we really need to auto lights stuff just so it doesn't get all funky on us. We really, really have two rooms though. Oh my gosh, not her going to bed at 7 p.m. Honestly, same. So it is a mere four o'clock in the morning. She is playing chess. She has already eaten a garden salad and used the bathroom. Now we are logic level two, which is great because we need that for our job. I need her to browse intelligent files and do all of that. I'm still so puzzled as to why she couldn't interact with that guy. I don't understand it. I'm going to keep testing it out on maybe like talking to people from Cupid's Corner and seeing if that's the problem and then versus talking to people just normally. Again, it could be a bug. I'm not sure, but she is off to work. It's honestly so weird just sitting here waiting for your sim to come back to work from work because I'm so used to having multiple sims in my house. I'm just like, Yep, she is tense from work, but she is indeed home. Let's take care of her really quickly. Oh, she's tired too. Oh, okay. I guess we're getting a welcome wagon. I did not sign up for this, but here we are. Let's not do a romantic introduction. Let's just invite the neighbors in. 
Oh my gosh, she looks gorgeous in this outfit. I love it. That's beautiful. Hey, wake up from your nap. I know you just got home from work, girl, but we have the welcome wagon here. We might, we have, it's the ring, the ring bearers here. <laughs> The fruit cake. I'm dead. Why are you in my room? Get out of my room. That is the best thing. Oh, I didn't even bring fruit cake. Grilled fish. Oh, that's so nice. At least it's not fruit cake. Let's ask about sadness because we are concerned. We want to get to know the ring bear. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is the greatest thing I have ever seen. I love it so much. Oh, you can ask about anything from here. So that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and give him a pity hug. Lots of reasons, friend. The main reason is I've lost my ring. Well, I sort of threw it in the nearby pond. I tried fishing it out, but I'm terrible at fishing. That was always her thing. If you're able to fish it out, let me know. That ring is some kind of special romantic magic about it. I can tell you more later. We should totally try to do that in this let's play. Well, this challenge. Oh, she's making friends with the pity, with the, with the pity bear or the ring bear. That's the name. Oh my gosh. I can't remember names now. Oh my gosh. They're like fighting. She's just going to bed. She's like, thanks for coming guys. But it's nap time for Miss Adara at five o'clock. Not her having good compatibility with the ring bear. Like <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. Not her neighbor showing up in her freaking skivvies. Like, <laughs> girl. <laughs> no. Okay, so I'm going to try to create another date and see what happens and I'm really hoping that it doesn't get all funky again. Maybe it's just a weird thing with that guy, but okay. So we started the date. She's not quite here yet. We're going to see what happens. I'm hoping for good things. I know, sweets. You're very hungry. Go get leftovers. You have salad in there. It's fine. All right, our date is here. Moment of truth. I can click on everything. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Listen, we're just gonna roll with it. Who knows? It's The Sims. Something could have gotten buggy. Oh my gosh, there's just plates everywhere. Oh, I don't even have a freaking trash can inside. It's outside. Okay, but at least she's like able to get to know, discuss healthy relationships. That's always incredibly important. It's enthused about the meal. So this day's actually going pretty well. Oh, Grace has a mixology skill. That's kind of fun. They're gonna watch some TV together because that's one of the parameters I set just to keep it easy and just to make sure it would freaking work, which apparently now it's working. So that's... Girl, you're just on your phone. You're supposed to be chit-chatting with her. Let's ask how the date is going. We need to talk about t the TV stuff, but that's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> We're supposed to be sharing our interests. Adara may need to pay attention a bit more. Girl, let's ask about romantic interests and see if that and see if that will actually give them some interaction here. I'm still exploring, trying to figure stuff out right now. That's cool. I love that you can like specifically go in here and ask about certain things, which is nice. Ask about romance style attraction. I do love that whole aspect. I love being able to know like a Sim's boundaries and their interests and all of that. So I think that's pretty freaking cool. So the Romantic boundaries. Very jealous, which obviously. Open to reconsidering romantic boundaries, blah, blah, blah. Physical aspects are, oh, she likes red hair and black clothes. That is definitely not us. So they're probably not super compatible, but at least she's getting to know people and that's all that really matters. And hey, at least it's working. Some of my other stuff isn't working though. So I'm a little bit concerned it might be mod issue. Oh, Grace likes cooking, so that's pretty fun. I think we're just gonna go ahead and end this date. It didn't go super well, but at least it worked, which is all that matters. Aw, we got- a, that was a date, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> it didn't go super great, but listen, she tried and that's what matters. I kind of want to do, um, kind of want to do the blind date stuff. Wait, she has to take a picture every single time? That seems a little silly. So I decided to set her up for a blind date and it's freaking, it was Vlad. L look who, look at who is here. It's your blind date selected by our very qualified specialist at Cupid's Corner. We hope you have a great date. But then it just ended. Honestly, that's probably for the best. Not Vlad being her blind date. Like, you can't make this up. What do you mean my bills? Oh my god, blown cover. <laughs> While working an assignment, one of Adara's agents has this cover blown. Protocol says to pull the agent from the field immediately, but the agent wants to finish the job. Should Adara order him to escape or let him finish? Let's order him in. Oh no, now she's saying, oh my gosh. Dad, I'm at work. Oh, we have Winterfest tomorrow. Oh my god, and it's storming. 
What is happening right now? <laughs> Although Adara saved the agent's life, her superiors are angry because the entire mission was worthless. Now they have nothing. Well, that's that's about how this day's going for her. <laughs> that's about right. Oh look, there's just stuff. Wait, what just got blown up there? My plant? Are you kidding me? That just got my freaking wall planter got struck by lightning. Fi I'm sorry, what? Finn? What? <laughs> what? What do you mean Finn just died? What? I... Uh, I was not expecting that. Where? Old age? What? I don't know what to... <laughs> Oh my god, no! This is horrible! Oh my gosh. This is not at all what we wanted. And now my chair just got zapped. Why? <laughs> oh! Is this because she's the Aerie generation and everything's like getting set on fire and Finn is gone and I don't... <sighs> Okay, I don't know what I was expecting for this part. I've been recording this for way too long. I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part, I guess. I hope you're liking the new Aries generation. I am I was having fun and now it's just it's, it's chaos and it's sad and I, I'm i still in disbelief. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.